Hey everyone, my name is Ben Ryan. I'm the uh, head of product at Fat Secret. I'm going to show you a couple of features uh, in the premium version of the app. Um, the first one is the custom meal headings um, that allows you to add up to six additional meals into your di food diary. So by default, when you're on the free tier, you just get these four um, different meal types. Um, one is breakfast, you have lunch, dinner, and then snacks other, um, which is where you add all the other um, meals that go, go into your day. Um, but if you're someone that um, eats uh, multiple snacks or, or takes in food uh, at regular intervals through the day, you'll probably find that three to four uh, meal headings in your food diary may not be enough, and that's where this feature is really good for you. Um, so to access them, um, after you've uh, upgraded to premium, you go to the more menu, which is down in the bottom right hand corner of the app, tap more. And then in the settings, um, you'll have uh, custom meal headings is here under diary. So if you tap through to that, you have all of these additional meal headings uh, available. So you can turn them on or off um, as is your, your want. Um, so if you have uh, a snack prior to breakfast, um, then uh, that's what pre-breakfast is for. We also have uh, two additional meals that sit between uh, breakfast and lunch. And then we have two meals also between lunch and dinner. And then we have supper as well. Um, so when you've got it set up like this, you could potentially start using snacks or other as um, a meal uh, that you have right at the very end of the day rather than it being like a catch-all for everything else. Um, some of the other things that you can do here with uh, the custom meal headings is that you can actually customise their name. So these default names, um, they're able to be modified. So you have, say, pre-breakfast, uh, if you wanted to say... Um, realign, you could, you could call that like a, a, a pre-workout snack if that's something that um, is relevant to you. Uh, so if you work out like very early in the morning um, before you have breakfast, then you can call it that. Um, one of the names I tend to give it is uh, by time. So if I'm trying to log foods against a specific time, then you can also uh, just name it the time of the day that you're going to have that meal. And that then applies all the way through uh, the rest of the diary. So if you navigate back out, you'll see these different meal headings have now come into my diary. I've got 7.30 a.m., which is the first meal of the day, got breakfast, second breakfast, 11s, afternoon tea, tea, dinner, supper, and then snacks other in their order. Um, I can go through and uh, rename all of them. Um, so I could say that second breakfast is actually, I don't know, like uh, 9 a.m., and that um, allows me to then sort of log the, log the foods against the specific times of the day. Um, in this case, it would be for someone who's sort of eating a meal every hour of the day. So you, you might have um, uh, a snack at 7.30, you might have breakfast at 8 a.m. Um, or a bit later, and then you have something at 9, 11, lunch at midday. Now, the, the main meals of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, they, they can't have their names changed and snacks other can't be changed. However, snacks other can be turned off. So if you only wanted to literally have just three meals a day, you can actually go through and turn off all of these meals. And then when you come back to your food journal, you've only got those three meals in there. Um, so you can basically customise the number of meals that you have turned on um, relative to what you want. Um, you can also set a reminder for each one of those. So uh, if you tap on the, the prompt to set a reminder, you can go through and say, well, I want a reminder. Obviously, you, you probably won't want it at six o'clock if you're having it at 7.30. So you can actually set the time to be uh, the same time as the meal. Um, you can also customise the message of your reminder. So in this custom message field at the top here, you can actually put in a, a message there for yourself. Um, 
Uh, you can make it as motivational, um, as amusing or personalized as you want. And then when this reminder fires at 7.30 a.m., um, that's the message that will be presented on your, on your screen. So if I go back into the diary, all of those are now activated again. Um, and obviously uh, when 7.30 comes around tomorrow, I'll get a reminder um, telling me to, to rise, it's time to rise and shine.